Hi, I'm Chrissy with Liquor DevRel. Do you want to run a quick analysis and easily share your insights? Or maybe you've got a great data-driven business idea and you want to test it with a report and ask your teammates for feedback. Well, with Studio and Looker, you can connect to ad hoc data. You can run a report with multiple data sources and then share that report with just a few clicks. In the past, in Looker, you were limited to data that was already modeled with LookML. But you might want to include an ad hoc data source in your analysis. Let's say you had an Excel sheet that had weather-related disruptions that you think might have to do with sales deviations in your model data. LookML is a powerful semantic language that offers governance to robust data sets, but for one-off ad hoc analyses like these, you shouldn't have to model it with LookML. The way you would do this is you would ask your data team if they could connect to the data and then model it with LookML. Or you might download Looker data and then analyze it with the external ad hoc data outside of Looker. But this weakens governance because you might share it with someone who shouldn't have access. And then your analysis is off on its own and can't be discovered with your other BI content. Now, Studio and Looker gives you the capabilities of Looker Studio within your Looker interface. It offers Looker Studio's connectors to connect with a variety of data sources without needing to make changes to LookML models. Looker Studio connectors pull ad hoc data into Looker where you can analyze, blend, and explore your data without writing any LookML at all. You can also analyze ad hoc data alone without model data. You can use Looker Studio's drag and drop interface to quickly build reports and speed up insights. You can also make sure the data is secure by limiting access to the ad hoc data source. Then the reports can be easily shared with authorized Looker users with the appropriate access. To use Looker Studio connectors, an administrator first needs to enable Studio and Looker in your instance and then provide you access with the connectors. Then you can use the available connectors to connect to data. At that point, you want to select a connector, like the one shown here. For example, maybe we want to pull in that weather-related Excel sheet. Once you pull that Excel sheet into your Looker interface, you can review the data types and then create beautiful visualizations, including bar charts, maps, and funnels. In addition to the benefit of ad hoc data, Looker Studio also allows you to blend data. A blend is when you want to build visualizations that connect one or more data sets. With blends, you don't need to write a join in LookML. You do, however, need a join condition, which is a common field with identical entries in each data set. A join condition is often an ID, like a customer ID, but it could also be something like a date or a location. Join conditions are usually unique identifiers. While there are exceptions to that rule, it's beyond the scope of this video. You can create a blend by highlighting two or more charts, then selecting blend from the properties panel. After you select your join condition, you're ready to make a blended chart. Now that you know how to upload a file with a connector, try adding Excel data into a Looker report. And if you want to learn more about how to configure a blend, check out the links below. Thanks for tuning in. Can't wait to chat again.